Apple just released the first public beta of iOS 16 for the iPhone, and that means you have a chance to get a sneak peek at a completely redesigned lock screen, as well as the ability to edit and unsend messages in the Messages app. I'm Jason Cipriani, and in this ZDNet how-to video, I'm going to walk you through the process of installing the iOS 16 public beta, and also give you a few reasons why you probably should wait. All right, so public beta means that anyone with a compatible device can install the software. And iOS 16 went into beta back in June. We'll see a full release probably near the end of September, around when the iPhone 14 will be announced. During that time, Apple is working on improving the software, finding bugs, changing features, adding features, removing features. They're doing a lot of work. And because of that, sometimes things don't work right in a beta. That's why it's a beta. All right, so here's the deal. If you're going to jump into the public beta testing pool, you need to be ready and willing and able to deal with some bugs. Battery life isn't gonna be that great. I keep experiencing missed message alerts for no reason whatsoever, which could be a good thing, right? If you wanna disappear for a little bit. But the point is you, you need to be able to deal with some issues in some apps that just flat out won't work. And because it works on beta one, doesn't necessarily mean it's going to work on beta two or three. So my sage advice is wait until beta two or three as some of those kinks get worked out. It's pretty solid now, but in a few weeks, usually Apple releases an update every two weeks. In a few weeks, it's gonna be even better. But if you insist on jumping into the beta pool, what you need to do is create a backup of your iPhone on your Mac or your PC using Finder or iTunes. And that backup will allow you to revert back to iOS 15 should you decide there's just too many bugs or something goes already along the way and, and you just can't use your device or maybe even it stops responding. Who knows? You cannot restore to an, from an iCloud backup made on iOS 16 on iOS 15. So if you're going to do this, please, please, please create a backup on your computer before you jump in. All right, so all the disclaimers, all the reasons why you shouldn't install it out of the way, let's walk through the process of installing iOS 16 public beta number one on your iPhone. And the same process will work for the iPad as well. All right, so I'm gonna walk you through the process on an iPhone 13 Pro Max. Uh, I recommend signing up for the beta program on your computer because Apple actually walks you through the process of backing up your device. But for time purposes, I'm just going to do it on uh, my iPhone here. All right, so the first thing you'll want to do is open Safari, go to beta.apple.com. You'll get to the Apple Beta Software Program website. You're going to want to tap on Sign Up. It's going to ask you for your Apple ID, and then you'll be enrolled in the program itself. It takes just you know a couple clicks, really. You're just logging in with your Apple ID and it's letting Apple know that, hey, this, this device or this account is taking part of the program. So at top here, you have all the different operating systems which are currently included in the beta program. And for the first time ever, HomePod OS is on here as well. Uh, we'll scroll down here, walks you through everything you need to do. You're gonna provide feedback, they're gonna collect data, and there's a friendly reminder to back up your device. There, at, under the getting started section, there is an enroll your iOS device link. You're gonna to wanna to click on that. And if you are doing this process on your computer and you need to go to the beta profile website on your phone, it's beta.apple.com slash profile. We'll take you directly to this page I'm on here. Again, it's walking you through how to back up your device. This is important. I'm gonna scroll down to number two where it says install profile and tap on download profile. Safari is gonna say, hey, this website wants to download a profile. Uh, do you wanna allow this? Tap on allow. Now the profile is downloaded, but I'm being instructed to go to the settings app. So I'm gonna back out of this, open the settings app. And as you can see, there's an option here uh, labeled profile downloaded. I'm going to tap on that. And automatically a screen comes up asking me if I want to install this profile. It's the iOS 16 and iPadOS 16 beta software program profile. That was a tongue twister. I'm gonna go ahead and tap install. It's gonna ask for my passcode. Entered my passcode. 
All right, and here is the consent form. I'm gonna tap install and install again. Now, I'm prompted to restart my device, so I'm gonna go ahead and tap on restart, and the phone is going to restart. This doesn't actually, the restart doesn't install the software at all. Um, it just is going to register the phone differently with Apple's servers to next time it checks for a software update, hey, uh, this device is enrolled in the program and can download iOS 16. All right, the phone has rebooted now, so I'm gonna go back into settings. I'm going to tap on general, software update, and then the phone is gonna check for a software update just like it would if iOS 15.6 was to come out tomorrow and you needed to check for a software update. And now it is gonna find the iOS 16 public beta. The last step you'll take is tap on download and install and let the iPhone do its thing from that point on. It's gonna request it, after you enter your passcode, it'll go through the installation process. And from there on, it's a normal installation process for a software update. It'll reboot a few times uh, during that process. And then when it's finally done, your iPhone will be running iOS 16. Again, you can't really go back easily without factory resetting. And if you backed up your device, using that backup on your local computer. So treat this as a permanent decision moving forward, eventually, iOS 16 will hit a uh, finalized release sometime this fall, again, likely in September. I'm Jason Cipriani. Thanks for watching this ZDNet how-to video. Make sure to check out ZDNet.com for more how-to tips just like this one, as well as all the latest tech news.